All right, welcome back to Kibumbi 2017. And, well, we are discussing and looking at how the media performed during the elections and what is expected, possibly even moving forward, in case you're joining us. We're looking at the tallying. And just to give you some of the responses coming through via Twitter, we have Tom Boyer who says, I think Gadara is right. If the media's uh, had reported in the 290 constituencies, nothing stops them from reporting the announcements. Then we have High Lander who says, clearly it's two against one. Can you allow Gadara to speak? Uh, we have Charles Njeru who says, Gadara, it's very awkward uh, that you mislead the audience. So basically that's it, the uh, uh, response that's coming out. L let me come to you, Eric. And what we want to find out or what, what I'd like us to look at right now is what is the responsibility of the media other than just reporting that we have long queues, uh, we have people that have begun voting on time, what is the other responsibility, especially because... The media has actually got about three responsibilities. Number, number one, the media has got a responsibility to the public to make sure that they're able to give the public the truth and the, the, truth, uh, the, and the true picture of what is happening on the ground. Number two, the, the media has got a responsibility to the people who are participating in the elections, those are now the candidates, to ensure that they, they have the work as the link between the candidate and the people or the subjects or the people who are going to vote. And then number three, the media has got a responsibility to the nation to make sure that the process does not also uh, lead into a uh, situation whereby it's going to destabilize the country, make sure that the country remains as peaceful as possible. But that does not mean that the, the, the media should hide the truth. So coming to the elections and what the, some of the issues that the Gadara is raising, I'll agree with the information. And we know that actually the governments have deliberately refused to gazette the commencement uh, date and uh, operationalize the Access to Information Act that was passed by Parliament. So the issue here is, yes, the media was supposed to announce these results, but this, um, in, some, in most of these constituencies, they are very impossible for media to get them. And this is now actually now the blame, and the political parties knew very well that they did not easily participate in this process to, to also help the media access the information. That's why now they are shifting blame to the media that the media did not announce the results at the constituency. Like I said, that in previously and in other elections, the media and the political parties have always worked very closely so that you, the media uh, can access information. If the media cannot access information, there is no way you'll expect the media to give the information out there. Okay. Gadara, uh, what was your expectation? Were you expecting that media is going to come? Uh, let's notice what Eric has uh, admitted. There is no law that's stopping them reporting from the constituency level. Whatever arrangements they had, with the IBC are simply that, arrangements they had. There is no law preventing them doing something else. Uh, the second thing is this. Um, what my expectation was that um, the media would recognize that these are 290 races that are being run, you know, because the, the constitution says clearly it's being run at the constituency level. Every constituency shall hold a presidential election, you know. And would go there, get those results, add them up, you know, tell the public, here is here, the results are coming. And even be able to project winners, you know. So to be able to say from all the results we have, you know, what is important is it acts as a check against the shenanigans we are seeing now, you know. Because everybody went and depended simply at the National Tallying Center on no. what their numbers were there, you know. And now when they start changing, you know, everybody's asking, but, okay, but was Gadara. that actually, let, let me finish, let me finish. Everybody's asking, was that actually what was declared down there? But we don't have any independent way, you know, of somebody else who had been reporting in real time for us to be able to look and say what they are reporting here, what they are announcing here looks very different from, from what what's announced being announced somewhere yeah. else. You know, <laughs> the reason you want that check, you know, is so that we don't end up being held hostage to one you know, and they find out. And my point is, what you should be doing, especially in an election, is not for us to be finding out three, four weeks later, a month later. I don't want 10 years from now a situation where uh, SK Masharia goes to the Senate and says, oh, I had those results, and they were different. That when it mattered, we okay. did not know them. Victor, you know, come your on. response to that. You know, I'm listening, and, 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 and like I said, uh, there are some things we, we would wish to, but if all wishes were horses, there are practicalities against what Gadara is raising. Uh, and, and, and I can tell you for sure, uh, most of these media houses invested, Royal Media, KTN, they invested. In Looking at an election as an event, not as a process. 
when some of these regulations and laws were being passed, even uh, editorial uh, in-house arrangements were being made, none of us was raising this issue. Then uh, three weeks later, when media, journalists now obey some of these internal I regulations that were put there, issues. then we start blaming journalists because they're obeying the regulations that were being passed. Uh -oh. Because some of these things, I, I'm, I'm telling, when KTN, for example, was releasing their technicians to go and be trained on IBC on how they'll pick that information from their portal, none of us raised any issue. So when the, those technicians do the same thing and pick those results, then we, we, suddenly we start seeing something wrong. Because these things were arranged, there were arrangements, there were, much as they are even, they might not be law in constitution as Patrick wants, but there were internal <laughs> arrangements. Us, at, 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 the, at the constituency level, pick the number that has been signed by all agents, then have that on one side, then look at what is in the portal exactly. and compare the two. That is why, that's why, because I, like I'm saying, I, met, I, I, I visited almost 30 constituencies, and most of the challenges is there, and I have mentioned that some of the petitions will be around that, where media also failed, but it was purely an impractical thing, that many of these people were not signing or accessing those forms. So in terms of validity even of announcing, that's why some of those governors and MPs you are mentioning are going to court. That, that was also from some of those returning officers who are not sharing those things. Yep. And it's like there's well, a, a big likelihood. Be... Let me share. Mm -hmm. There's a very big likelihood in some of the information that was being relayed by returning officers person who finally sends the SMS. Is, and there's a possibility that there's a lot of variance in, mm -hmm. in, in, in the result that we, we are which, which is uh, why it was important now to be at BOMAS because what Chebukati was compiling is what is on the form. Once he has received physically the form 34 and it doesn't form get it physically. Because um, it became uh, basically what they did was they, they key in the number, which all agents see being keyed in, you know, and they take a photo of the form that they have all signed, you know, uh, basically on the Kims, and they send it. You know, that's what that's, 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 that's an assumption. 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 Been mentioned some of some of the time were compromised. So l l let's not uh, use this. The, the other thing that you have raised, which I fully agree, is that in 2003 again we raised the same issue that media over trusted IBC. Mm -hmm. Now this time again we over trusted the technology, and say technology was going to sort out. In fact, I was talking to an American friend who was telling me we over trusted. We have overused technology in our elections. Mm. I mean, while, while election in Kenya is purely manual, but we have overhyped technology to a level where we suspended all our life and said technology will sort out our all, all everything. And we are now realizing that technology did not do that. And some of the, uh, the grounds that people will be going to court is purely that, that technology failed in um, some areas in, in, in uh, terms of solving all, right. all our problems. I, I want us to move on to something else. I've realized that uh, there were too much expectation from the media. But when alone in the process, nobody was talking about the media and the role it's going to play in the election. So just expectation that, expectation that the media will do this. And I think now in the future, when we are talking about uh, conducting elections and the process from the beginning and the preparation, media must be part and parcel of the process. Let us begin from there. So that even by the time we are going to elections, media should actually now know that by the time we will be announcing the result, this is what the public expects of us, and actually it's, already, it's very now very clear, and they have made it loud and clear that the media, this is what we expect from you. And I think that will help us a lot, because right now what we are working on, we are working on an assumption that we assume the media will do this. So if we make that part of the, uh, of the process, I think it will help us. Even when, when, when we are enacting laws, you remember, uh, Wangusi telling the media that if you do that, I think we are going to punish you. Then even uh, then uh, uh, there's a week also I saw the regulation that actually also published by uh, by CA again, and actually they were targeting the media that if you do this, we are going to punish you. So what we are saying is that we must now start that conversation that media can because sometimes we find ourselves isolated, finding ourselves in the problem because there's this expectation that we are supposed to fulfill from the public, but again we are also being pushed by the government. So we find ourselves between a, a rock and a hard place. So the media must now be also be considered as part of the process from the beginning and it must be very 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 clear not an own assumption uh, all right I, Gadara, very briefly uh -huh. what is it that you'd have have if we had to hold elections today what is it that you'd expect to see from the media that you did not see well um, very, uh, briefly. Uh, very briefly saying at the national darling center i think a big um, lesson that the media should learn also is that our lessons become more i mean our elections become more an approximation of what's happening in the U.S. where you have 50 different elections, the same way that's happening here, and they should be calling the 
the, the, the election at the constituency level. It is not true to say people did not raise the role of the media. I was on these shows, on this show and others, you know, talking about what the media should do and that the media should be calling the election. Secondly, when Musheru came out with this statement, it was the media itself that went again and, and told him that, no, we will announce our things. You know. And don't forget, they actually, they, you had a court case. You know, where Musheru was told that he was being premature. Which was, okay, you know, I, 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 Musheru, I think <laughs> the government can stop you um, tallying results that have been announced, what are official results, you know. So the media has the opportunity, had it, still has it now, I think, to, to start uh, digesting what, uh, what's been put out there right now and to actually start reporting the shenanigans that are going on with the changing of forms um, on the portal, which is illegal, which shouldn't happen. You know, uh, and stuff. One final thing is about reporting in real time. The, the sort of um, uh, irregularities that Victor Buire is talking about, we should have been knowing them in real time. If people are being stopped, you know, uh, uh, listening to, um, the, announcement to, to the announcements at the, at the level, we shouldn't hear about this a week later. We should be importance for me of not simply being reliant on getting official information. Okay. Uh, All I right. Victor, uh, as, as, as you wind up on that, because I want us to move on to something else, what quickly, else would you do different? Uh, we have a massive election in Kenya. It's too massive for even media, for observers, for agents. It's a massive exercise. And, 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 and we start thinking about uh, one media, how does media utilize the resources they have well to, to be effective. Why, for example, do uh, citizens have 290, NTV 190, I mean 290, all people in the constituency, if we are not going to maximize? Why, for example, should media work together as a team mm -hmm. so that they effectively use what they have to, f to fill some of these gaps we are raising? Mm -hmm. Because what was happening was people are now a competition. Uh, joint, for example, telling uh, center for all the media house where they get their own feed as, as independent institution because most of them do not have the capacity. Remember the political uh, uh, affiliation of some of the media houses and the rest of the thing. So, so, so to me, that, that's one major thing uh, that, that we need. Two, uh, largely, we need uh, to start having a conversation where results, looking at it, that the releasing of results at 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, sometimes becomes... A, because one journalist having stayed for three nights without even uh, rest, and what becomes impossible, by the time some of these results were being read on 10th, and this person started working on 7th or 8th, became impossible. Some of the journalists had even left the, the centers, they were the purely centers. tired yeah. and were not there. Mm -hmm. So that, that's why the challenge of uh, the releasing of this uh, is a purely a practical uh, thing that we have. In. So again, how do we start looking at that as a as an industry that given the role that Eric is raising of the media, the critical role, three, the most important thing that we need strong media support groups in this country. Mm -hmm. We need uh, the KUJs, the AMWICs, the KUJ, I mean the uh, uh, I mean, uh, KCA, the Media Council, Editors Guild, we need strong institutions mm -hmm. that must start engaging with the electoral process as early as possible. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is that two weeks to an election, we are still releasing rules and regulations on how media was known, and nobody was interrogating the implication of that, some of those regulations that are being... So that by the time now you go to the field, somebody shows you a regulation that was already passed and that stops you from... So home but Kivumbi 2017 is still on right here on KTN News and uh, I want us to look at violence but first we're going to release KTN home and this conversation continues on KTN News so for those of you who'd like to carry on with us you need to move over to KTN News in fear on KTN home for KTN home goodbye All right, uh, let me come to you, uh, Eric, and this is to do with post-election. And uh, after the announcement, there was uh, a reported spats of violence. Again, we are in an age where there's a lot of fake news doing rounds. Uh, but doomed if you do, doomed if you don't. There are those who criticize the media and say, look, you guys, there's violence taking place all over the place, but you guys are not reporting. There are others... You release it is going It'll maybe to spark flare more up. or flare up uh, the violence. I think, uh, I, but I also agree with your first point on about the era of fake news. When actually this violence actually broke out uh, across the, from uh, parts of the country, I think there was a lot of fake news that actually was flying ar ar around and um, 
there was these pictures actually from uh, I think uh, they might, could be 2007, 2000, mm -hmm. the post election violence. And actually, and from outside were, the country, yeah, and of some even from yeah. outside the country, from I think from DRC and um, and uh, I think uh, uh, Burundi that actually were all over social media. And now everybody was asking that why are you uh, why is the media not uh, Report. reporting this? Mm -hmm. So what happened there, I think there's a point about the point of verification. Personally, I think I received so many phone calls. Somebody is telling me that why is the media actually... I think on the, 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 the night of when the election's results were, re, were released. Mm -hmm. So I think the issue was about uh, the numbers. That yes, we had violence, and nobody is disputing the other violence. But I think the, the, the point of, uh, of uh, variance there was the numbers. So what matters was that... The media ought, was very careful so that we do not use fake news. Then you start uh, broadcasting that, you, oh, you know, so many people have been killed in Kisumu, Kibera, Madari. Personally, somebody, you know, so many people have been killed in Kibera. So I ask, then I use my own source to find out, is it true that people have been killed in Kibera? And uh, I think from the what I was able to get, no, yes, we had violence, but so far there is no one who has been killed. But yes, there were violence, there were protests. So then I, somebody told me that, okay, there are some, so many people have been killed in Kisumu. Then I was like, give, give me that information. If I get that information, was using other police were using excessive force actually to, to try to, to to quell violence and okay. that's where the point Nadara, was. do you feel those accurate information flowing especially after the announcement no uh, I would agree with Eric uh, in the first uh, in the sense of that there was um, quite a lot of disinformation that was happening but it was happening on both sides so in the sense that any reports of I mean there are there are lots of false reports of uh, violence and uh, Basically, lots of fake pictures circulating, especially on social media. But also, any reports of protests were being branded as fake news, so that the, the impression was being put out there that there's actually nothing happening. You know, our media, I think, uh, with the, there are two phases to this, um, and I think they are failing reporting them. You know, that was a protest in Kondele, um, uh, there were protests in Madare, you know, and I think in Kibera as well, but I'm not sure about the Kibera one. You know, but they were being covered um, on international media. You know that they are happening, etc. Those reports of deaths. Um, I think by, by, by the time the announcement was made, it was about five. Yeah. You know, uh, reports of five deaths that had happened. Again, local media largely silent on this. And the Nadara, idea. Is, let me is, finish. Is, let is me it finish. that media was silent, or are we doing our work to find out first of all? Well, I think media was silent. Um, uh, uh, the fact is, these reports want to be. I mean, these uh, protests weren't somewhere hidden. You know, um, guys were marching up and down. You had reporters, you know, from uh, Al Jazeera and the other places who could film them. You know. Uh, I, 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 I'll ask. Yeah, no. and, and let me finish. Um, in the period after the the, uh, uh, the announcement was made, I think um, uh, one of the things I give credit for uh, NTV was that um, as the announcement was made at those discussion, they were saying, yes, there is protests that have broken out in this. They didn't show the pictures, mm -hmm. but they were they started talking about it. You know, I think um, the, um, in the in the days that followed, there were more protests. Lots of it wasn't filmed, but was at least to some point uh, discussed. You know, so. Um, I don't think it was discussed as, I mean, sort of covered as I would have expected to be covered, as Masharia Gaither was saying, he himself was surprised that he was waking up to watch cartoons when there is yeah, the, yeah, this thing that, that, okay. so, 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 so I think yeah. in, in both phases, uh, both telling people that this is happening is not what burns the country. Mm -hmm. You know, that is not incitement. I think the media took the wrong lesson from 2008, you know, where they did not distinguish what some of the reporting that was proper and uh, well done, mm -hmm. and they did not distinguish it from the incitement that was being done, especially from vernacular radio, and they all thought we all failed. It's and not it's thinking, and so it, was all right. not, it was not thinking, Victor. and it was not easy as Gadara puts it. Media press and it's, an, easy. it's an environment. And look at the news processing, uh, gathering process. Remember, all other agencies were also preparing, aware of what you are raising, the Craig Report and the related, mm. all other agencies were also preparing to stop media from airing those protests. So it's not that the media just... I mean, uh, where, it uh, was practical. Uh, the multi where is after the, 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 the announcement? Where I don't agree with the Gadara is that... Um, the international media actually have a, a, a lot of problems with international media. International media actually came to Kenya with the, with their mentality and a fixed mind that Kenya are going to have violence. So whenever we, we, there was an opportunity to air anything similar, through. anything close to violence, actually they, they, they blew it out of proportion. However, 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 I'll agree with you that 
When it comes to how the media covered the protest, actually, that one I'll even give them two or uh, actually because, out of ten. Because uh, not, not, forces, uh, exactly, beca there not, forces behind not because that beca not, not because they wanted to, to, to do it that way, but at least there's a lot there's a lot of um, interference has already been taken away by those hooligans. So who are you going to show those pictures? Yep. On how are you going to show them? So what I'm saying that, yes, I agree with uh -huh. you. When it comes to covering the protests that were happening in uh, Kisumu, Kibera, Madare, actually media did not do a good job. But they did not do a good job because they didn't want to do so, but because of uh, the, the environment and the challenges that uh, were there. I, I, and two, Eric, you have trained journalists. You yeah. are a safety trainer. Yeah. Yeah. And we tell journalists there's no story worth your life. Exactly. Then today we sit here and tell, because they failed to go to Madare at 2 in the morning to cover, then they, are, uh, they have... No, you know, again, and, and, uh, and, 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 and I can tell you, uh, and I can tell you uh, uh, let, let me just finish this point so uh, that you also understand this. <laughs> When Duncan Naemba was being arrested in Kibera, actually at that time, actually police had actually as tear gas journalists for whatever they were covering. Yes. Then, Naemba, the, the reason, Naemba wasn't even because you keep it at home. So what I expect you, what I expected for this was that, producer, fine. For yeah, you tell us, okay, fine, we found you this, little, mm -hmm. we are giving you two hours or three hours to come with the license at the police station and show if you are properly mm -hmm. acquired this, uh, right. this protective gear. So what I'm telling you at that particular, even police themselves, they made it possible for the journalists to take uh, the pictures. Again, of the that is why you'll see in some cases, <laughs> the TV, they could just manage to tell, to tell Kenyans that, yes, we have this violence, but they could not get the pictures because of the environment. In the period before the announcement, um, the, 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 as I said, the international press was already running this. Um, uh, in as much as you might not like how they framed it, and we are not going but to get uh, uh, let me local finish, media let me finish. No, again, oh, media. come on. Yeah, um, let me finish. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> in as different. much as you might not like how they. You because no, it seems you have a lot of information. Let me just let, 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 let me just indicate. Let, 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 let me just indicate what I can tell you, and I can tell you from where I see. No, 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 no. Let me just indicate from where I see. Gentlemen, we need to wind up. We need to wind up. Eric, Eric, let him finish. Let him finish. Hold your horses, boss. You know. So they did not invent the protest. Let's 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 let in all occasions, and my idea, this idea being put out that oh, we, we we really wanted to cover them, we just couldn't, is bullshit. You know, the fact is, you I'm not guys. To use that one. That's <laughs> not, <laughs> this, what, this, this, this is what I wanted to tell. This is what I wanted to tell. Allow him to explain. Because Let me it's explain one to thing, you. It's one thing to sit behind a desk and expect the media to do something. The reason it's another thing to be on the ground. The reason yeah, why. The reason why I have no. The, the, the reason why. No, the, the, the reason I why I'm saying about this about international media. From where I sit, they talk to me even before election. Even for the, some of them who are coming to Kenya, right. I, yeah. we, it's for me even just to try to explain to them the scenario and the situation analysis yeah. of Kenya. And anything that was coming from the question from these guys from the international media was about violence. And you could see that even the part, even if you are talking about a conversation with them, even the observers. True. Violence in Kenya actually took almost, uh, if you are having a conversation for 10 minutes, for seven minutes people are just talking about violence. So that's what I'm telling with these international media when they are coming here, their main focus was that Kenya, we are going to have a violence. In Kenya, you cannot have election with he came up with his own fake stories, and actually, it was heard how people are training somewhere in a forest we for the purpose of violence. We've seen that, and that is the main thing. Exactly. The exactly. That's what I'm saying. So when, when we had protests in Kenya, them? when Why we they had, when, had protests, when we had protests in Kenya, then they got that now opportunity to blow these things out of proportion. So that was what I'm telling you. Is. So that 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 yes, 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 we had protests in Kenya, but not in the full scale. Yes, we covered the protests, but not in the full scale in which the international media covered. And we must. Victor, we as, 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 as we wind up, as we wind up, uh, for me, and from experience and where uh, my involvement, uh, while I have uh, my own view of how media did and what practically what media did, but it's so wrong to assume that the, the, the private sector alliance where they belong, government, private, and what, and some of the decisions were, they were making those many meetings had a lot of impact on how journalists performed or did their work in some of these things. So, so, so when you sometimes say how CNN and Al Jazeera did that and they are better than Kenya, we miss the context because we are operating in very different contexts and very different realities that sometimes, I mean, but, but, but for me, Janus did the best they could. They could have done better and will do better, mm. but, but we did a lot of good work. All right. Your closing comments, uh, Eric? Yeah, my, my comment is that, yes, the media did not uh, do as uh, the public expected them to do because, uh, number one, uh, people we are supposed to report to are our consumer. 
uh, and that is the public. We did not do that, and actually, actually we've uh, learned our lessons, and probably in future elections, I think we could be investigation and interrogate some of these things, which will take time. Maybe we are not able to do at that particular time, but if you if give it some time, I'm very sure media will do that. So I agree with Bogadar to some extent. When it comes to the protest on that one, I agree with you 100% that the media did not do what the, the media was expected to do. All right, your closing comments for um, that. Uh, I, I think the media, number one, has to take um, uh, responsibility for the arrangements that it makes, uh, for the agreements that it makes. You know, uh, if, if, if media owners sit down and they shut down again, lots of the criticism that I make doesn't go directly to the reporter on the ground. You know, it is about these arrangements that, uh, and these decisions that are made about how they will cover which are made at higher levels, you know. So whether it's the tallying of results or it's covering of protests, you know, the process of uh, uh, verifying what's, what's going on um, should continue. I think the media right now um, must really concentrate on what's going on with the portal, mm -hmm. um, must really concentrate with whether the forms, what was announced at polling stations and at constituency level is what was used to announce um, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the presidency, um, uh, the, the results, especially of the presidency. The third thing we must not forget is if we impugn the results of the presidency, it is the same system that delivered all the other results. You know? So then there is a problem not just with the presidency, but with the credibility of, every, of, of all the other elections down the line, as Victor has said. As media, we've got results and we've got people on the ground you know, who have them. We should not be afraid to publish those and to call out the IBC if it has done something wrong. You know, and to say that actually, in fact, for me, it's not so much about telling guys go to court. We should be asking, do we have a process that we can actually have faith in? All right, gentlemen, we'll have to wind it up right there. Thank you very much, Patrick Gadara, an award-winning cartoonist, Victor Buira, Programs Manager, Media Council of Kenya, and last but not least, Eric Odor, who's the Secretary General for Kenya Union of Journalists. This is Kibumbi 2017, and uh, we're taking a short break, but we've still got more stories that are making headlines right here. So we'll take a short break, but we'll be right back. Do stay with us.